Hello everyone, this is Rich Raj. Welcome to Tech for Me. In this video, I'm going to talk about session storage in JavaScript. So earlier in this previous video, I have talked about local storage variable. So with the help of local storage, you can store the data in the browser with no expiration date. But in session storage, whenever you are working on session storage, it is again a JavaScript object in a property of Windows. And you can store the data only for the sessions like if, for example, you have opened a web page and we have some data. So you can store the data in the session storage and when, once the user will close the web page, your data will be destroyed. Or you cannot be able to access the, the data of session storage after reopening the web page. And again, like you can store the data as similar to the local storage in, the, in terms of key value pair. The data stored in the local storage variable or the object will be deleted when the browser is closed and you cannot able to access the variable once the browser is closed and similarly like in local storage we have a, a per methods and the property so in similarly we have session storage so in session storage we have a some set of methods so you can store the data with the help of set item you can get the data with the help of get item and you can remove the specific data uh, with the help of key so we have a method remove item and if you want to remove all the sessions uh, data so you can remove with the help of dot clear as a method and there are one more method key and length so let's see how we can implement the session storage in javascript now i have created a simple html page so with the help of html basic logic and then i have created app.js file and i have linked app.js file with the help of script as i see as html tag and this is my app.js file so as i covered the video about uh, the local storage so we can create a data uh, store the data in the browser with the help of local storage and then we have a method set item and here we can pass the value so here we have a key and the value let's say tech for bet okay so when i'll save i'll just reload the page and i'll go to the inspect element and then we have a section for the application and then we have a local storage in the storage section and then we have a data key value pair and one of the best thing about local storage is uh, you can uh, just comment this logic and you can close this particular web page and i'll just reopen the web page once again i'll go to the inspect element and we'll go to the applications and then we have a local storage so i can still access the data uh, after closing the web page or web browser so local storage we can store the data with no expiration date but uh, there is another concept for the session storage so we use session storage for storing a data for the sessions so for example i want to store a data for the the website uh, when the user will close the web website or web browser the user data will be destroyed so this is how like here we can use session storage as a javascript object inside we have a method set item so i will store the data so i'll just type name and then here we'll write tag ferment okay so i need to store this data so i'll save and just i'll reload the page and then we have another section for the session storage so i'll go to the section session storage and then we have a data name is equal to tech ferment so what i'll do here we'll write tech ferment 2 just because uh, we have storing a data so we have a tech ferment 2 which is coming from the session storage and then we have a tech ferment which is uh, from coming from the local storage okay so we can remove the local storage data so here you can just click on this now second button and then click on that button okay so we have created a session storage and i have stored the data in the in the browser with the help of session storage dot set item method now i will commit this logic for the session storage and i will copy the path i will save the file and i will go to the new tab and then close the web page now when when i try to access the web page once again and then i will go to the inspect element and then we have applications and then we will go to the session storage so we cannot able to access the data so this is the thing like uh, whenever we are working on local storage so we can store the data in the web browser with no expiration date but if you are working on session storage so the variable existence will be there for the web page if you close the web browser or web page you cannot be able to access the variable 
okay so now i'll talk about session stories so we can store the data so i'll just save and uh, i'll go to the i'll reload the page so we have a key value pair and you can also store the data uh, so i'll say i'll store another data so age here you can pass the age so age is 12 and i will save and then reload the page okay now you can get the data so you just need to call session stories dot get item and here you need to pass the key so my key is uh, so let's say i want to access the name so i'll just copy the key and here i will pass the name as a key so we need to uh, call, like print the data in the console so here we'll write console dot log and uh, here i'll write console dot log so I'll just go to the console and then reload the page and here we have a data. Okay. So similarly, uh, you can also remove the data. So we have a remove item and here you need to pass the index. So let's say session storage. So we have a file and then we have a two key value pair age and name. So I need to remove, I want to remove age. So I'll just pass the value here and I will reload the page. So name age is removed. And similarly, you can also call the uh, logic like session storage dot clear and it will clear all the session storage data. So I'll just call this one and this will remove all the things. So I'll just save and I will comment this logic and I will reload the page. So now we have a two key value pair. So there is one more query so you can run like session storage dot length here you can get the length. So how you can print the length? So here we have a log console dot log, and here you can pass the value. So I'll just save the page and reload the page. So now we have two key value pair name and age. So this is how we can store the data in the browser as a session storage, and the value of the session storage will be available or data will be there for the browser. If you close the browser or a web page, you cannot be able to access the data of session storage. But if you are working on local storage, you can access the data. So thank you for watching and see you in the next video.